Well, my name is Salam Awada, and I'm the president of uh, AXI Tech Inc. I'll talk a little bit about plant nutrition. Plants need at least 16 essential nutrients to complete their life cycle and to grow to their maximum genetic potential. So that we always have to have enough nutrients in the soil for the plants to grow well and to sustain uh, uh, and maximize the growth and yield. If we have any nutrient deficiency, this will uh, reduce yield and compromise quality, of course. So the reason I'm talking about that is uh, we have to make sure we put uh, the inputs, the right inputs in the uh, right amount and make sure they are available for the plants so they can uh, grow and uh, maximize, like I mentioned, maximize the yield. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about plant defense system because uh, that's one of the uh, functions of BioImprove, it helps in that. Uh, so it's been uh, well documented in the liter literature that most plants have a natural defense system or immune system. This system has evolved to defend the plants against insects, pathogens, uh, such as bacteria and fungi, as well as environmental stress, such as uh, salt, uh, drought, or heat. If the defense system is compromised or does not function well, the plants will be weak, stressed, and susceptible to attack by pests. Uh, also, scientists have discovered a while back that there are certain biochemical compounds called elicitors that can activate the natural immune system of the plants. These elicitors activate chemical compounds that are called phytoalexins. These phytoalexins are part of the defense system of the plant and they are actually low molecular weight compounds that are synthesized by the plants in response to an infection, insect, injury, or stress. So these phytoelexins work in very minute amounts and are not specific, specific in their action. So they can inhibit the growth of many pathogenic bacteria or fungi as they get activated. The reason I talked about these, like I mentioned, because some of the components in BioImprove function as actually as elicitors. They activate the immune system of the plants. So what is BioImprove? BioImprove contains a spectrum of ingredients. Uh, the main components are biological extracts or biochemicals. There is also uh, some, micro some nutrients, as well as buffers, stabilizers, penetrants, natural growth stimulants, and natural surfactants. The biological extracts in BioImprove are made by an actual fermentation process that takes a few weeks to complete. And the reason it takes a few weeks because we are targeting uh, metabolites or extracts from the biology, and these take a few weeks to concentrate and build up in the broth during the fermentation process. So it is not just a couple of days, it takes time. If we kill the, uh, the fermentation process within a couple of days, we will have some of these components, but they will be in, in small amounts. So we want to achieve the maximum that we can get during the fermentation process. Some of the components in the biological extracts in BioImprove activate the natural defense or immune system of the plants to help protect it against infection by pathogens such as bacteria and fungi. These components act as elicitors by activating the natural defense system of the plants. So what we are doing is we are activating the natural defense system of the plant by these biochemical biochem compounds that produce in fermentation process so we are using the natural defense system to protect the plant from outside pathogens or, or stress issues. The fermentation extracts in BioImprove are of low molecular weight 
and small size. And this is very important because when you deal with applying uh, foreign elements or extracts on the plants, they have to be of the right size. If they are of high molecular weight, uh, it will be hard to penetrate through the leaf tissue or through the root, the root system. So we have, we know we have a low molecular weight components and they are small, so they can easily penetrate through the leaves or through the roots and do their job. Also, the small size makes them easy for them to translocate in the plant and to move in quickly. Many factors uh, weaken or stress the plants. There is uh, infections, injuries that could be mechanical, could be by insects, as well as a nutrient deficiency, and these all can cause stress and weaken the plants. So when you have lots of rain showers, wind and high humidity, this makes it easy for pathogens to attack a crop because the crop is sometimes when there's too much rain, it gets to be stressed because uh, we have a lot of water in the, uh, in the soil and then uh, the soil will be deficient of oxygen because the pores have been displaced by water and this weakens the plant and uh, make it susceptible to pathogens. And this is uh, critical with uh, the issue of Gus's wilt because Gus's wilt flourishes when there is rain and wind. The spores and the infection can spread from one plant or from one to the other or from, from one field to the other during the wet and windy conditions. So if the plant has no protection or the plant health is compromised, this is, it will be easier for the bacteria, Clavibacter bacteria, to attack. Healthier plants can resist disease better than weaker plants. Like I mentioned, we have a few components in BioImprove, and each component has an important function. We use buffers to maintain the water pH at about five and a half. And this is done because we know the physiological pH in the plant, the most optimal is about five and a half. And this also helps in the absorption as we apply the, the, the product uh, through foliar application. There is also natural growth stimulants in BioImprove that uh, we not stimulate, uh, that they stimulate root growth. This is very important because the plants with better root mass access more, mo more moisture and the nutrients from the soil. This helps improve the overall growth of the plant. There is also penetrance to help in penetration through the uh, waxy leaf cuticle for a quick absorption by the plant and also to help in the translocation of the extracts in the plant. There is also st stabilizers because, because we know as we apply uh, BioImprove, we sometimes mix it with other products. So it's critical to have stabilizers to prevent the components from reacting uh, in the mixing tank with other ingredients. Uh, also to help uh, from uh, interaction with components in the soil or within the plant itself because we want to make sure to maximize the impact of the product. There is also natural surfactants that act as wetting agents and these also help in absorption as well. Uh, one of the things that we need to know before we apply uh, BioImprove is we have to have healthy leaf tissue. Uh, the reason is if there is dead tissues or dry tissues, it will be very hard for the material to penetrate. Uh, BioImprove has to go through healthy leaves because it's the point of, in, uh, point of in contact as we apply it and this is where the material will penetrate through. If there is disease or uh, dead tissues, the components in BioImprove will not be able to penetrate and will be a waste of money and will reduce the bio the effectiveness of BioImprove. BioImprove is not a bactericide or fungicide. BioImprove boosts the natural defense system of the plants and they prepare the plants to better fight stress and pathogens. BioImprove was discovered by accidents as we were uh, researching different biological, biological extracts to help with the bacterial ring rot of potatoes. We do a lot of uh, potatoes in Idaho. And one of the major issues that rise once in a while, and seems to be more often now, is bacterial ring rot. 
So we were, as we were testing the biological extracts, we found out that certain extracts kept the plants healthy uh, for about four weeks. So we repeated the experiment again and we got similar results and this time it held to up to six weeks. And even then there was no infection, even though the, uh, the media had, where we were growing potatoes, had a lot of clavibacter. Uh, the control, of course, was uh, fully infested with the, uh, there was rot and you could see the, uh, the uh, potato as you open it, the liquid was oozing out of it and it was a nasty smell. One of my associates, uh, we were in California in a meeting, he asked me, as I was telling him about the potato results, asked me if it will work on uh, Gus's wilt infection. And truthfully, I've never heard of Gus's wilt. I don't do much corn here. So what, when I googled it at night, we're at the hotel, I googled the Gus's well, to my surprise, I found out that the causal organism is actually Clavibacter. And it's a Clavibacter uh, michiganensis, which is very close to the Gus's well causing agent. So it was uh, uh, a shock and, and a relief because I thought it should help with this uh, organism. So as we know, I mean, Gus's well is causing lots of... Uh, damage in, in, uh, in the Midwest and my understanding is coming to our area too. Gus's wilt because the way it grows, it grows inside the vascular system of the plant and this is where water, nutrients, sugar and essential components move uh, like photosynthates will go down and nutrients will go up so when Gus's wilt start growing and the infection start uh, blocking the uh, vascular system uh, the plants will lose, uh, of course, uh, water uptake as well as the nutrients and then uh, this will weaken the plant and eventually kill it and of course this will reduce yield. And also the uh, uh, timing application is uh, critical we wanna, for, for BioImprove. We want to apply it early to boost the immune system, also to maintain the growth of the plants and function, having the plant function uh, properly. Uh, if there is infection, we probably will be late because uh, there's already probably blockage of the vascular system. So we want to make sure we are ahead of the uh, infection. And also, if you are expecting rainstorm, uh, within two hours of application, uh, it wouldn't be a good idea to apply because we need, BioImprove would need at least an hour on the leaves for the maximum absorption of the ingredients. Uh, BioImprove can be mixed with other products but if you are mixing with other uh, nutrients or other fungicides or other pesticides, it's always a good idea to do a jar test, small jar test, just to determine compatibility if there is something uh, incomparable. But I mean, we know our product uh, have a lot of stabilizers in it and buffers, but we don't know about the other products, what's in them. Uh, the bottom line, to get a good crop, plants need to be healthy. There has to be enough nutrients available for the plants. Need to maintain good nutrition program during the growing season. Follow soil and tissue analysis recommendations and try your best to maintain the crop disease free or stress free. We are excited about uh, BioImprove. It's a new uh, product in our line of products. Uh, it's exciting because it's targeting a new uh, uh, technology, um, which is the defense system of the plants. Uh, we're excited about what we're seeing also in the Midwest. I've seen a video and I've seen pictures of uh, on actual fields that have been holding green uh, until October. So that's always makes us proud and happy with what we put together and what we work on. Because uh, Excitec uh, is dedicated to research and we're happy to see good things happening that helps the farmer. Thank you.